We start from the central region of Ghana, which holds a unique and influential role in the country's political landscape, often acting as the bellwether in presidential elections. Now, since their return to multi-party democracy in 1992, the region has consistently supported the winning presidential candidate, making it a key area to watch as elections approach. Channel One News' Samuel Yafi analyzes the voting trends in this region and the impact on national outcomes. With 23 constituencies, the central region is a critical swing area in elections, known for its decisive and unpredictable voting behavior. Since 1992, the region has consistently supported the eventual presidential winner, making it a top target for both the MPP and the NDC. A diverse mix of urban, semi-urban and rural area reflects the broader Ghanaian electorate, drawing intense focus from political parties and their campaigns each election year. In the 2012 election, John Mahama of the NDC won the presidency as well as the central region playing a crucial role. Mahama defeated his main opponent, Nane Kufado of the MPP, by some 62,339 votes. The tables turn. In 2016, when Nana Ekufado represented the MPP claimed victory in the region with a margin of 91,406 votes, the swing was key in Nana Ekufado's overall victory in the national elections. He also won the 2020 election and retained the presidency. As the country prepares for the 2024 election, the central region has once again set to play a critical role. Home to about 3 million people and over 1.7 million registered voters, nearly half of whom are young, youth engagement is expected to be a decisive factor in the result. The NDC, as part of its strategy to convince the people of the region, selected a running mate from the central region and has held several campaigns in the area. The party's regional chairman, Professor Richard Esiedu, says they are poised to recapture the central region. As I've had occasion to say many times, we in the NDC in the region are working around the clock to secure seven more parliamentary seats to bring to 20 the number of seats in the NDC in the central region. On the part of the MPP, the party believes the unprecedented development it has brought to the region has impacted positively on the life of residents. MP for Asin Central, Kennedy, Japan, says President Akufado's achievement in the last seven years gives the MPP an upper hand going into the election. The central region is a key battleground for both the MPP and the NDC in this year's election. Historically, it has been established that any presidential candidate who wins the central region automatically wins the national election. December 7th will determine. For Channel 1 News, my name is Sami Riafe.